essential self. It's a really hard problem to diagnose because nobody listens to it. So the big question here is, where did our essential self go? Our essential self isn't really gone, it's just we don't listen to it with the fast lifestyles that we live in today's century. We can't really have time to listen. So that means that you have to get up, brush your teeth, eat something, do some work, go to work, realize that you're late for work, so you have to park real quick, run as fast as you can into the building, and then when you're in the building, you need to do some more work, eat something, do some more work, go home, and then repeat this for about seven days straight. This can get very old very quickly. So we can easily define essential self as sort of our thinking self or our resting self. What we think, others think. So really, if I think that I'm Blake Anderson, I cannot. No matter what, I'm still myself. I'm still Garrett Johnson. I cannot change anything about that. Essential self is a very complex topic and a lot of philosophers in the past have covered this topic on essential self. In 1641, French philosopher René Descartes thought of essential self as, I think, so therefore I am. So there's two quotes that really anybody can say and what everybody does say is, be you, or I know you. So what I did was I wrote those two quotes down on a piece of paper and I put it in my fireplace and then set it on fire because therefore these quotes are basically unneeded, unuseful, unwanted. These make no sense. Now this presents another question. Have we lost our essential selves? Really what essential self is, is you being quiet. That's next time when you're in the car alone, just be quiet. Don't listen to music, just be quiet and just let your essential self talk to you. This will allow you to make some of your more important decisions in life. It'll give you a chance to sort of ponder it in your head and really get things set in stone and straight for you. What I did here is I made a little diagram of my day. I go to sleep at seven and wake up at four in the morning. Now you may be asking, why do I get up at four in the morning? You know, this is why I wake up at four. It's cause it's dark, it's quiet, nobody's sending emails to me, nobody's sending text messages to me. It's one of my more productive hours. And one thing that I like to do early in the morning is go for a walk. Right now, I am in an abandoned golf course in my neighborhood. The moon is very bright. I know that the human eye can see better than the camera, but right now it is bright out right now because of the moon. And it's just these moments that you can really listen to your essential self, get what it's trying to tell you, and sort of have that relaxing moment in your day. If I add the time that I'm in school, then I can fill in where I can contact my essential self and relax. Now you could argue that your essential self is in you all the time. So why do you have to spend so much time trying to contact it? Or why are you trying to spend so much time trying to like collab with it and sort of have it in your life present during every single hour of the day? The thing is, is that you'll be much happier if you do. Spending at least an hour or two relaxing, you know, doing, you know, a relaxing walk or you do yoga or you do something else that makes you feel relaxed, then that will bring out something in you that you could have never found if you kept on spending your life on the go and just constantly focusing on a plan when really just wing it. Try to get an hour in where you're sitting on the couch doing nothing. In conclusion, I believe that essential self is very hard to understand. We can't really understand because it's just so hard to understand it. Because you could be getting one emotion, but then all of a sudden having the other emotion at the same time, and you're like, ah! There are many philosophers that have touched on this topic, and it's still not even answered today. What is essential self? 
And we might not even answer it because there are 7 billion people in the world. We might never even know.